Hi, people. Up, up and away, my beautiful, my beautiful balloon. Up, up and away. In my beautiful, my beautiful balloon. Ain't it good sometimes, family, um, to have a bird's eye view of the madness? Personally, I, excuse me, yeah, I know for me, there's nothing better than having a bird's eye view. So I thought we'd take a bird's eye view today. And, um, just relax. And I want to make um, I want to make sure I'm clear because the video that I did a little earlier, it wasn't very clear. So if I'm not clear on what I said, then you're not going to be clear in your understanding. Right? That's how I look at it. So Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, my illustrious family. I love y'all. Welcome to the Mental House with me, your host, Khadija. Okay? Now, what's that song? It's a song that James Ingram said. I'm still trying to kill the time, as y'all know, two minutes I got. Uh, what's that song, uh, James Ingram, the late, great, one of my favorite male vocalists? Um... What that song he said? I'm trying to say this as gently as I can. I'm trying to say this as gently, as gently, as gently as I can. You know, the ancestors uh, said, Willie Lynch told uh, folk, that if they would implement certain things to us, that we would be perpetually miserable forever. And you wouldn't have to worry about us because we would always see the world through their lens. And my God, I think Willie Lynch has something there. Because what I want to talk about today is selective enforcement and prosecutorial discretion. Prosecutorial discretion. You may ask, what is that? Selective enforcement. In law, selective enforcement occurs when government officials such as police officers, um, prosecutors, or regulators exercise enforcement discretion, which is the power to choose whether or how to punish a person who has violated the law. Y'all got that? Come on, we're going to start this one-on-one -on -one thing now, right? Okay. Prosecutorial. Um, discretion. You can just say prosecutor discretion. Mean the same dang thing. Okay, what's the purpose of it? Huh? Prosecutorial discretion, PD, is the long-standing authority of an agency charged with enforcing the law to decide where to focus its resources and whether or how to enforce or not to enforce the law against an individual. That's why you see a lot of these white cops shooting black men down unarmed and the district attorney chooses not to do anything about it. It's the prosecutor that decides, oh, even from Walter Scott to Tamir Rice to, you can name them all, uh, Michael Brown, the prosecutor um, or they'll decide to go have a grand jury and then have a ju grand jury lie too, like what we had dealing with the guy down in Kentucky. But we, that's another story. But the point I'm trying to make, uh, it is uh, the, 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 the power lies with the prosecutor to charge or not to charge a person. White men do it all the time. And I want y'all to just sit on that for a minute because it's the hypocrisy that I'm dealing with when it comes to Juicy Smooth. It's the hypocrisy that has got me up in arms. Not whether I agree with what the boy did. I know he don't deserve no five months in jail because Kim Fox was the prosecutor, okay? And she has 
prosecutorial discretion, prosecutor discretion, whether or not to charge somebody. She decided she didn't want to charge Juicy Smoothie. Community service would have been okay. What if she dropped the charges? She has the right. The prosecutor may reduce the charges from murder to manslaughter or even drop the charges entirely. Now, you tell me, damn it, how in the world does this white right wing judge get to call a special prosecutor to come back in and undermine her work to prosecute Jesse and then give him five months in jail? And y'all don't have no problem with that? There's a police in Cook County. As that Cook County raped a girl 14 years old repeatedly on the fourth, a cop. They chose uh, not to do prosecutor discretion where he didn't serve no time. He don't even have to register as a sex offender. Cop repeatedly rapes 14-year-old. The prosecutor decided, nah, 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 nah. we're we not going to prosecute this guy. He's not going to serve time. He don't have to register as a sex offender. He don't even have to see a time in jail. That was the prosecutor's discretion. I didn't see none of y'all out here talking about, oh, yeah, that's what should have happened. Yeah, that's what should have happened. In fact, that's a travesty. Calm down. But because white men in this country are made to run amok, y'all done got to the point where you don't even want to see, act like, it's, it's hurting you so bad, it's blinding us so bad, we rather act like we don't see it. And we rather just go, oh. Yeah, that's a good view sometimes. I get up in the morning and do that. But when I come back down to earth, and when I pick a subject on all this action activity bound to participate in life, then I point out the hypocrisy of this judicial system. Kim Fox decided to get a boy probation. There's no way in the world these white men should have came behind her and pulled that crap and gave that man five uh, months in jail. Y'all might not want to see it that way. Um. But you're wrong. I'm telling you, you're wrong. You're wrong. You're wrong in your stinking thinking. And guess what? That's you making me believe that you love the white man so much. You love him so much. That it hurts you. When I come out and point out his evilness towards you. And you upset with me. Prosecutorial discretion is something that the prosecutor, the prosecutor, the attorney has. Kim Fox exercised it. And then this judge going to go get a special prosecutor to reopen the case and examine him, or Juicy, and then examine her too. What kind of crap is that? So they, we get these positions, just like the girl in Baltimore, because the people... She, Kim Fox was elected by the people. And then they still want to undermine us. And all I'm here to say is, it's too many of us because they can't kill us to keep on accepting this kind of craziness. If you want to jump out and talk about Black Lives Matter, Black Lives Matter, Black Lives Matter, then this is no exception. Jesse Smollett's life matters as well, whether I agree with him or not. Yeah, the man said the boy was narcissistic. And again, you living in a narcissistic society that somebody can sit up here and gaslight us to the point where white men can do whatever the hell they want to do. And black men, everybody, everybody look at you as a joke. Even your own people. What's the sense in having these jobs and becoming prosecutors and becoming uh, district attorneys and 
judges and whatever, when a white man could come behind you and call in a special prosecutor and then the white people allow racism. To, and we're gonna we're gonna have to keep breaking down these laws. And like Ellie Mistel, uh Ellie Mistel said, that constitution is a messed up damn document. It's a freaking hip hypocritical document in the first place. A bunch of damn hypocrites with slaves sitting up there talking about all men are created equal, and one of them is a child molester. Uh, uh, all of them probably were. But y'all don't want to talk about that or the prosecutorial discretion that we sh that the attorney should have to throw a whole bunch of uh, uh, lines out of that process, uh, uh, that amendment, that amendment in, in that uh, proclamation. That declaration, this should be a whole bunch of uh, 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 um, paragraphs taken out, rewritten, because it served no purpose. It's a trash document. And we still trying to uphold that craziness in the year 2022. That's some old hypocritical white men wrote to keep us sick and in bondage. Y'all better wake up. And all I'm saying is Kim Fox did nothing wrong. She dismissed the charges against uh, Jesse Smollett. Jesse Smollett should have been able to do the community service. He should not be spending five months in jail. And I'm standing on that. They undermined her and her position. An elected official. Okay. I'm open to hear what you got to say. If you like what you hear, please like, subscribe, and share, and I'll see you in the next video.